hello guys this is tabs welcome to my youtube channel and i am looking into how to set up email account in ipage in this video if you are watching my video for the very first time i are landing on this youtube channel for the very first time i am dabs and welcome to my youtube channel i am pretty much always excited to have people join me i upload videos every now and then around wordpress teaching people the things that work the things that do not work and how you can gain mastery over WordPress even though you are a non-techie. So if you're into WordPress, you are trying to install a website for yourself, you are a non-techie, you can make this place home for you. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell because that's the only way you will get notified when I keep posting awesome videos that can help you such as this one. So if you have an IP account and you want to set up a webmail for yourself, I will be showing you exactly how to do that in this video it's very simple very easy but just because wordpress have a highly customized control panel there are things here and there just like the website is all around the place and things are not really knitted together so you may really need to know exactly what you're doing so that you can easily find your way around it so but one of the things that i page have done is that there's a there's a place for webmail directly around your domain but it doesn't work that's not exactly how to manage your webmail whether you are using a list view like this or you are using a grid view either way that's not exactly how to access your webmail what we have to do first is to manage our domain you can click on the domain and you come to uh, your domain summary so at your domain summary is where you can easily move around to your email management section and if you scroll down you will see a place for email account so if you come down to your far left uh, behind this summary here if you come down you will see all the future all the things you can do with your domain and you see a place for email management you will see for g suite for microsoft 365 those two are paid for you to use webmail and if you come to standard if you hit standard that's where you have access to webmails free webmails from ipage and till today is still quite unlimited you can create as many emails as possible as you want to so if you want to do that all you have to do is hit the plus blue button here and you would see that you would have uh you will be able to put name of your email address your password confirm it and then create the mailbox it's as simple as that so for example let's say i want to say info info adapt tutorial.com and then i can then do a password okay so uh you have to make sure that your password is correct if it's not correct you would not have this pop-up here for you to create your mailbox so once i fill up the info i fill up the name of the mailbox and my password i can just hit the create mailbox and bingo i have my email here ready uh, i don't want this saved and if you eat this launch email it will take you directly to your mailbox yes we have our mailbox ready and we can see that we have an email from no reply .com, and that's the default email you get when you create uh, your email account so this is exactly what your email account will be from your far left here you will see a place to compose and this is your inbox and definitely once you send an email you have your sent also down here and you can also refresh from here to get new emails in case you want to refresh the browser for you to for new emails to pop uh, that's exactly where to get that done now you can come to your settings here for you to play around with your email and you can change your interface your mailbox view you can do a lot of things here but i really don't mess around with all of these things and you can create special folders and all of that that's cool if you want to but one of the things i love to do is if you come to your identity and uh, you come to your email account so this is exactly where you can set a display name for your email so once you are sending emails out what is the name you want it to display as so for me since my website is dabs tutorial i can just easily put dabs tutorial or i can just put my name as dabs and i can put my organization as dabs tutorial if they reply to this email where do you want this email to go you can leave it bare if you want it to reply to this email and you can still leave it here or you can just you can do that uh you can also uh bcc you can blind copy another email maybe your personal email every time someone sends you an email when you send out an email and you can put your signature and that's one i love very much a signature is something that's very cool you can copy and paste images and drop them here and just write things here for you to uh, have your signature 
so this is very cool for you to be able to give your website an identity and uh, above all i think if i have been using this webmail for years right now good amount of years right now uh, this is the only place i really come to mess around with so uh, i think that's that's good enough so let's come back to our ip hosting and one thing you can also still do here is that you can come to this place it's this three button and it will give you some options for settings and for you to uh, set up client and you can also delete the email address if you want to but if you come to settings here this is where you can set an auto responder to the email i just love the idea like right now if you send uh, me an email to one of my very corporate email account that i use i set an auto responder thank you i'm dabs i've received your email i'll respond to you within 24 hours or whatever 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 or something you just like people to know when they send you an email that you have received it so you can pull an auto responder it makes you look more professional in all honesty and you can set your mail delivery if you want your mails to be delivered you can add an email you want the mail delivery report to be sent to and you can change the password for that email account so as you can see that the kind of email account that ip gives you is not the one that individuals can manage by themselves such that they can create they can uh, perhaps uh manage their password and all of that so it's only one central admin that have access to the control panel here that can change password for email addresses so you need to know that and you can delete this if you want to delete so that's one of the settings you can do so you can still come still come down here and come to client setup and this one is also very important for you to manage your website more in case you want to sync your website with maybe an outlook on your laptop or maybe on your mobile device personally i love to sync my email addresses with my mobile device i just want to be notified once an email is being sent to me and that's very very important uh, if you don't do that it means that you have to manually keep coming to the web version online on your on your browser for you to check your email address but it makes sense when it makes sense for you to get a notification if you receive an email and that's the reason why my mobile does the magic for me uh, if you want to do desktop you can come down here you can you see an apple mail you can sync it with it you can still come down here and choose any version of your outlook that you might be using and you can sync it with gmail as well if you want to and there is a thunderbird here i really don't know what that means i've not used that before so i really don't know so you can sync it with any of the things you want to sync it with and if you have done that I won't recommend you use the automatic setup. I have not done that before. It really do not work. I tried to do that at some point. It never worked. So I don't know if the automatic sync still work with iPage, but it has not worked for me. So manually, you would see that you have an instruction here what to do part time. And I think you shouldn't have a problem. Uh, once you require your name, you can put your nail, the same name you set initially. Uh, you can put your email address you can put your email account type and put all these details and you have it done i don't really think there's so much of a big deal doing that the same thing for your mobile setup if you come to mobile you can come to ios uh, you can switch to android windows blackberry depending on the device you're using uh, um, an android person and if you do that you have to go to your play store android play store or maybe apple play store whichever you're using and then install an email app i use a samsung mobile device so i have a default email app uh, with my samsung device so i really don't have to download any other i just sync it with my email app and this email app is quite different from gmail you need to understand that so basically that's it and if you come down you see all the instructions for you to sync this definitely again i also advise that you go with manual setup uh you can put your email address as what you've done here and this is your username this is your imap is server incoming if you go to add your email app you want to add a new email uh you choose the imap version of the email you would be required to put all these details and once you have them here you can easily pop them into uh you can easily pop them into your app and then you have your email sync and ready so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video i hope this video has helped you to see how you can set up professional email addresses with your ipage hosting account if this video has really helped you let me know also in the comment section below i would love to hear from you have any question you want to make more clarification then drop them for me in the comment section below and i think that's it for today i'll see you in my next video here yeah? bye for now